Welcome to Excel Magic number 1184. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we need a formula that'll have an x and then multiples of 5 starting at 20. So x20, x25, x30. If we come over to this sheet, we're going to start off with a little bit of a formula that will be a number increment, and we'll use the rows functions. Now I'm sitting in A4, so I go A dollar sign 4 to lock the 4 row reference, colon A4. Now what does rows do? It asks the question, how many rows are there in this range? Well, 4 to 4, that's 1. But notice that one's locked, so as I copy down, it'll be locked 4. But that one is not locked, so we'll move 5, 6, 7. Control Enter, that gives us 1. If I copy down, it just increments 1 to whatever number. Now I'm going to come to the top in F2. To get 5's, we simply say times 5. 1 times 5 is 5. 2 times 5 is 10, all the way down. So there's our 5. Well, wait a second. We need to start at 20. Now I have the whole range highlighted. And in the active cell at the top, I'm going to hit F2. Well, what do I need to do? I simply need to add 15 so that I start at 20. Now, I have this formula edited. To populate it through the highlighted range, I hold Control and Enter. And so our edited formula is populated all the way down. Now we simply F2 come right after the equal sign and in double quotes, capital X in double quotes, text always goes in double quotes, and then we join it using Shift 7, the ampersand. That's the join symbol. Now if I Control and Enter to populate this edited formula, boom, there we go. Now we could copy this to any other location, but there will be a problem. Notice this is an expandable range. I should have looked at that over here. Obviously, we got a 5 because there's no dollar sign, a 6 because there's no dollar sign. It's expanding. So if you start in some other cell besides A2, you simply need to make sure that whatever cell you're starting in, D8, and watch this. I'm going to point to the edge. It, it's D8 dollar sign and then D8 with no dollar sign. Now notice this is one of the few formulas that's allowed to have the cell reference that the formula is in inside the formula and not get a circular reference. Control Enter and copy it down. All right, we'll see you next trick.